Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to create adaptive form using schema. So you can define a schema of your adaptive form in a JSON file, and then you can use that schema or file as a source for an adaptive form. So as part of this tutorial, we'll see how to create adaptive form using JSON schema. We'll understand how you can structure the schema or how you can write the schema JSON schema and we'll see what are the main part of that schema and then we'll see how to create con form fragment using schema there is an option you can create either adaptive form or form fragment using schema and we'll see how you can reuse those form fragments or the fields multiple times in a form so to create adaptive form using a schema is straightforward, nothing specific about it. You just upload that file and create form. The important part is about the schema, how you write that schema, what are the section of that schema. So the most important part of this tutorial is the second point means understanding of JSON schema, how you should write that. So let me explain the basics of that schema. These are the minimum fields you must have to create any adaptive form. One is the schema. This is the most important. This is actually the schema against which your schema will be validated. So these are generic ones. If you have specific, you can add your specific schema means the here. But as we are writing the normal fields, nothing specific. So you can add other draft as well. This is mandatory. Now the type. This is the type, what kind of type it is. Means if you are creating a form, the type must be object. If you're creating a field, the type might be as per your field. Properties. So this is the section where you will be defining your fields, means form fields. What are the form fields you have, you should be, or you want. Required. If you want to any field to be mandatory, then you define those fields here. You will be defining name of those fields here, right? So, but you must be aware this required can be used only with object, not with any other types. So now you can define your field inside these properties, right? So these are the fields. Let's say this is the one field, this is another one, and you can define type what kind of field it is let's say if you need a number type you can define integer and for the other let's say you have text text field you can define string and the properties or the field you want that to be required you can add it here so let's say if you want author id here you can define author id here you can repeat all these things right you can create complex form using just repeating these fields we'll see this scenario uh, in in this tutorial so if you will see, I define a simple schema, which has author ID, name, email, gender, and date of birth. And this is the simplest schema. It is a title. This will be the title of that form, means the source. So you just need to create the form using this schema. So if I create this, let's come here. Now you need to create adaptive form. Now you'll find an option using model, as I already explained, let's say author. Inside this model, you need to select type, means which type, select form, you will say for schema. Now select schema, now there's a two options. One is you can get it from your local system, from the disk, or you can search if you have already uploaded in is repository. So that means you can, before creating this form, you can upload that schema in your repository and it's a good practice because if you have any kind of issues you will understand while uploading that but for this we'll upload while creating that form so let's choose this option upload from disk and then you can upload that schema just upload that this is my schema and i don't see any error so if i have any error in this schema then i will get that error here or while upload that so let me create that so as soon as I create that form, go to this tab, last tab, data source, and you will see what you created. The, you will see a, this form here, which is coming from that schema because we choose that schema. If I drag and drop here, you will see the form has been created. Straightforward, simple. 
but you will notice few things here let's say i need a date of birth but you will see here it's just a simple text box i need a calendar here same way for the gender i need to predefine things like fem male female others which is not there and the email i need to define like email format or email pattern and also i need to define another panel where i should have address so these are the important points how you define a structure for these kind of fields how you will define structure for different scenario creating form is pretty straightforward so now let's go back and check how you can do it i would recommend you to open your schema or json file in a either id or any tool which can give you suggestions about the structure of your json if you break your structure then it might be a issue for you for while creating a form so i'll open this one i'll use vs code to open my schema means the json file one more thing you must see here the title means the title is created by this framework means it takes your name and convert that in a camel case and add the title here but what if you want to have your own title so these all things we can define in your structure it means in your schema so to define title you can add a property called title so this is properties and these my fields so i am defining the what is the title to define type means what kind of it is let's say i want a calendar for this my date of birth so what i can do i can define a format format and in format i can say it should be date okay date and you must have comma in previous one otherwise it will give you error so this is the way your id can check whether you have some syntax error or not so for date you define a format date for email you can define format as the email let's say format format it should be email okay it should be email so now as i define format is equal to date you will see a calendar in your form rather than simple text box so that way you can define format for any kind of field as per your need now let's say you have a gender right you need a means the options means the drop down in your field to select a predefined field so for that you can do like you can define that thing in your schema itself so to define drop down you can define enum and enum names okay enum names what you see in your ui means the drop down and text and the enum is the value that is stored once you select that one item of the drop down let's say you select mail so the value will be the mail with the lower case so that will be saved that way you can define this drop down means here items now let's say i want to define a different panel for that address so what you can do you can add that a panel as a field means inside this field right now i have field let me add one more and what i'll do i'll add this address you will see this address is part of fields but it has its own title own description and type is a form object right because it's a type of object i'm defining properties means if it is an object i can define properties properties means fields okay so this will be having apartment city state and because it's a separate one so i can define the required as well for this because it's a type of object as i said earlier okay so now this is a panel which contain three fields along with my normal fields okay now let me save this i can add properties to these fields as well i can add title i can add other whatever the type is but I, just for the simplicity for the learning i'm keeping those as simple as it is okay now let me upload this just save this and when you create a form so before i create form i will upload that schema first so i created a folder where i'll keep all the schemas so let me upload that okay so this is my let's say this is schema and i upload that now i'm not uploading while creation of that form i'm uploading before so that it can keep in my repository 
So if I have any error, you will see this error. The important thing here now is the name of your file should be specific means yes, extension should be specific and your suffix should be specific means extension should be obviously the JSON and it should have a word means suffix schema before that extension before that you can have anything so this is mandatory you must have schema and you must have json extension before that you can have any name okay so if i don't have any error in the schema this will be validated against that schema okay it will upload otherwise you will get error so it's done it has been uploaded you will see here now if i create a form now let's me create a form Okay, let's say author test form. Okay, now inside this model, choose schema. Now selected schema, if you see the here option, this we have already seen now, search in repository. As soon as you click that, you will find your schema here. Okay, choose this and it is fine. If you have any error, you will see error here as well and create form. All right, form created. Now come to this data source. And if you see now drag and drop, you will see other fields. You But you will see another panel here. You will see it has its own fields. So if, if I drag and drop this, okay, you will see the different fields along with this is my another panel for address. And now if you see there is a drop down, let me have a preview of it. Okay, you will see now we have drop down whatever we added we have date here calendar even you can define the format kind of calendar you need you can define in that property so you can go back and check the documentation how you can add that i have already explained now and this is another panel to add address so that way you can define the behavior of your fields means what exactly you need so in last tutorial i explained the form fragment so you can create form fragment using schema as well it's not mandatory to create only form you can create form fragment and inside one file you can create multiple form fragments so let me explain that so for that form fragment your schema obviously it should be here you define a definitions inside definitions you define fields like whatever we were defining earlier inside properties now we are defining inside this definition obviously properties would be there so this is the piece of one fields means you can say one panel we define this this thing in a panel earlier so now when you create a form fragment using this so now let me upload this the same thing this thing i have already explained how to do that how to add properties how to do that uh, drop down and all so now let me upload this okay so if I let me close this and schemas upload obviously simple will upload that and it is address fm dot schema dot JSON so file name should be as it is as we were creating earlier okay upload this so this has been uploaded now if I create a form fragment let me create a form fragment okay uh, let me create a folder first so that we can keep all our form fragment there okay so let's create adaptive form fragment if let's say address fragment address address fragment and if i choose this schema now choose this schema now you will see either upload or repository so i'll check in repository so this is the uh, schema for that uh, fragment i choose this but to create that form fragment you must choose what you need what information you want the part of that fragments means form fragment what kind of fields so even you upload that whole schema it will ask you to choose what kind of field so if you have multiple sections you will see all the multiple section here and you can choose from which one you want to create form fragment but in our case we had only one address you can define one more here okay so that's why if you choose this you will see only one which is address okay done and create done if i 
if I go to any form and in search in my fragments let me check here itself go to this edit and if you check here let me refresh a bit if you check and search for the form fragments adaptive fragments you must see a address see the, this one has been created and this has all the fields what we added there in that schema now let me explain one more scenario let's say you want to repeat a set of fields earlier how we were adding the form fragment let's say i want to add that fragment means the piece of fields few groups of fields in my form multiple places for example i have a book and i need to add the information about the uh, address address of author address of publisher so i have same set of fields but i want those fields multiple times so how we gonna add, do that inside schema obviously through ui you know create form fragment and use it but how you can add that inside schema that is important so for that i have a schema called book schema so it has simple fields like whatever the fields we have now for other fields i need this author address and publish address so i need to define same fields again but that's not the case you can define from fragment here itself so what i'll do i will define the same fragment parallel to my fields not fields parallel to my the properties okay inside this i always have what did i explain earlier means my address and the different fields right this apartment this 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 whatever we have now I can refer that using the ref word dollar ref and I give the path where it is it is inside definitions and it is address so what I'm doing I'm adding those things here for these panels means these are two panels now and I'm defining their own title own description right so the same this these fields will be reused again here in twice here so that way even you can use your existing fragment as well here so now let me upload this and let me create a form using this then you will understand how it is happening so important part is you are reusing this section this whole section at multiple places means you are reusing this fragment okay so let me upload this this has no error so it has been uploaded it's fine close now let me create a form using this so I'm creating a form book test and the model I'll choose this schema and then obviously I have already uploaded so this book schema no error so if I create form it's done and let's add it that if I go to this source you will see this form see the title book and you will see two panels as well here address author address and publisher address so if i drag and drop here you will see these fragments two fragment has been added here all right these these were the fragment i created it has my fields what i define here these fields means book id book topic published date and then these two fragments okay these two fragments so if i if i see preview So you will see these are available fields means this panels available for twice sometimes you might face this issue sometimes you might face like you don't see fields here so that sometimes what happened it it in your file schema it will ask you to define this definition before your field before actually you refer so if sometimes you define after this so you might face some issues like it is referring here in this field but that is not available so you might face that issue sometimes so it's better to define it before you refer those i hope you understood this the important part was to understand schema not to create forms so if you have any question please add your comment thank you